What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys been out there building shit. I'm Aspie, and you're watching The Worth Shop, where I teach you guys to use your hands, do blue collar, hands on projects, build, fix, create, build up your self esteem, your self worth. So, if you follow the channel, the last few videos, you know that I bought a centrifuge for cleaning waste motor oil and making black diesel. Let's go on in the shed. And we'll talk about a few things that I've learned and I'll tell you guys a few tips and tricks how to save some money on your setup. So the first thing we're going to be discussing is pumps. Unless you're He-Man, you ain't going to be moving around 50 gallon drums of oil all by your lonesome. So you're going to need a pump to move it from here to there, from out here, in here. You want to get it from down low, up high. So your gravity system can flow. Once it's in the last drum, where does it go? If you've been paying attention, we need a pump, you know. Turn on that pump, and in the Ford she'll flow. And down the road we'll go. Putting on a smoke show. I bought two pumps, one for the dirty side, one for the clean side. But I want those pumps to be able to suck from and distribute to different places. In order to achieve that, I realized that valves are cheaper than pumps. Pumps, you're going to spend, each one of these was about $150, but for 10 valves, I was able to buy them for 40 bucks, which is a lot cheaper than multiple pumps. So my pumps suck from and distribute to different places using valves in my system. So the moral of this story is if you want to save money on pumps, invest in T fittings and lots of valves. I've got another tip with valves as well. The smaller the valve you buy, the cheaper it's going to be. So instead of getting one inch, maybe drop down a size to three quarter if you're not real worried about a high flow rate. You might lose a little bit of flow, but you saved yourself some money, and it's not going to affect it all that much, guys. I'm not saying drop down to a quarter inch from one inch, but if you drop from one inch down to three quarter or three quarter down to half, it's not that big of a deal. The next thing that I'm gonna discuss concerning pumps, be real careful when you're shopping for pumps. Look at the input and output thread type and diameter really closely because they kind of got me. They just said one inch and I didn't realize that it was British metric size and not NPT, which is standard in America. They're both 110 volt pumps. They do about 15, 16 gallons per minute. I bought them both on Amazon and the prices are very comparable. This one was 155, this one was 159. But I'm going to do a quick review and say that I'd probably get this one if I was going to buy again. It's a little heavier, it's a little beefier. This one is a little bit lighter, not as significant. Also, the cords this cord gives you about mm, 18 more inches on this guy than this guy. They both come with a fuel filler, but this one has the spring so that it doesn't go in as far. It gives it a place to hook when you're filling on the edge of your filler neck or whatnot so it doesn't fall out. It also comes with this rubber coating. And it just feels better in the hand. Feels a little more significant. This one's kind of light and chintzy said all that to say this which is actually the point in me making this video to kind of warn people about these pumps so the outlet ports the threads on these pumps is not npt which is standard in america it's actually bsp which is british standard pipe so they're a metric thread for the inlets and the outlets on these pumps so if you're going to hook it up to American stuff, you're going to need adapters, which costs even more money and more time waiting on those. So if you order these, you might as well order the adapters while you're at it. 
with this one here you've got the side port and the top port that top port is NPT but I'm going to show you something you see that little impeller in there if you thread an NPT fitting into there you see there I'm up against the impeller and I've still got that much thread left I'm super glad that I noticed that before I went to pipe doping and wrenching that down and getting it tight because I would have literally destroyed my new pump. So I ended up waiting quite a while on new fittings and adapters etc and spending more money in the long run. The next thing we're going to talk about is barrels, tanks, more tanks, and IBC totes. First of all an IBC tote wouldn't fit through my door so I would have been have an IBC totes out here around my shed and anybody that follows the channel they know I just moved out here to the desert in eastern Washington and IBC totes do not hold up well in the sun and the UV rays they start to get weak and brittle after a few years and I didn't want to take that risk so I got this tank given to me for free and I paid 40 bucks for that one and they're metal and they should last me long time in the future. I was also given these drums. But to be real, that was kind of a double-edged sword, guys. You see, metal drums come with a three-quarter inch NPT, which is cool. I can use that. And a two-inch, they call it, but it's actually closer to two and a half inch bung fitting for this end. So I ended up having to buy this adapter and I also had to buy this style adapter. If you look at plastic barrels or drums, they're actually threaded inside of the bung cap for a three quarter inch NPT. So I wouldn't have had to buy additional adapters for my bungs had I bought plastic barrels or plastic drums. So in the end, a free drum, once I bought the adapter and spent 20 bucks ended up being a $20 drum same with this one once you buy a $15 adapter it's a $15 drum I see plastic drums on the internet a lot for around 15 20 bucks and so at that point if you just go ahead and buy the plastic one you won't need the adapters and the fittings and stuff and so you might be money ahead rather than run into Lowe's or Home Depot, I also suggest you jump on Amazon, jump on eBay, and look for bulk deals in valves, crimp rings, adapters, angles, tees, all your different fittings and stuff. Because a lot of times, what you'll be spending at Lowe's or Home Depot versus Amazon, you're going to save a lot of money just waiting, being patient, and ordering it in, guys. But that's also why my system's not quite done yet. I still need a couple adapters, fittings, and things like that. I hope you guys learned a few things. Maybe save yourself a couple bucks as you're setting up a centrifuge for cleaning waste motor oil. If you did, hit that like button. really helps out spreading this information to other people that might need it. And helps me beat those evil algorithms. Hit that subscribe button. You want to learn as I set up my centrifuge system. And I pass information along to you guys. Next week's video. I'm hoping. Is going to be a first run. Once I get everything finally dialed in. Set up. I'm going to teach you guys. And walk you through my system. Step by step. And give you a cost breakdown. How much I spent. Alrighty guys. Till next time, use what God gave you, take on some projects, build, fix, create. Keep building shit.